Buonasera, and good evening everybody, it's Man with a Plan here. Back in the dark, dang, terrifying depths of London Underground on the Xbox One, welcome back everybody to Vampire. Hope you're doing well, hope you're doing great. Thanks for coming back to join me again today, guys. I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, the atmosphere. It's beautiful, I absolutely love it. And we've got some interesting things that I want to attend to today. We've recently attained our new position in our new office inside of the hospital in London, the Pembroke Hospital. And um, we have our own little area here. We can do some research and some crafting and things. And we have this very sad looking plant. The flower's dying. It needs water. I feel like I want to save the plant. I feel like it's going to be the only living thing that I actually spare in this playthrough, but at least we'll spare something. We do have a reflection after all, we checked that out earlier. So what I'm curious on as well is, um, we are actually a surgeon and whether we're actually going to have duties and tasks to attend to, uh, but we do still have a question that this is a great cover, but what of our need for blood? Myself isn't too much of a worry because I'm just going to eat all the people, but let's see. Let us explore the hospital today. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. Uh-oh. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Oh, dear. What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war, and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke. And space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Okay, starting to discover a bit more about that Y symbol that we get. It appears that the lower options are always an aggressive response. The right hand options are a more... How can I say, like, an inquisitive one, perhaps? And the left one, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But it seems like the lower ones are always an aggressive response. Locked? It's locked, alright. Oh, it's definitely locked. It is definitely locked. I thought you said space was a problem. Look at, look at this storeroom. Blatantly a storeroom here. What is this? Dr. Tippett's, Dr. Strickland, Dr. Ackroyd. Okay, excellent. So we're going to have a little bit of an explore today. Check out the hospital and everything around here. Find out what's going on. Loot it as much as we can for all of the things that might be useful. And hopefully find some water. Why, hello. Ooh, that looks pretty. What is this? Used hacksaw. <laughs> uh, hack him to death. Freaking great. This is not the kind of hospital I would like to wake up in. Lots more reading things. T. Elwood's medical file. Let's have a little gander. Bub -bub 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 -bub. Patient Thomas Elwood, male, age 28. Dr. Tippett's status convale convalescence. Date of admission, date of release. The patient's face has been heavily burned and disfigured by a bomb during the war. Even though the use of the strongest sedatives, he affirms to regularly endure severe pain from the wounds. As if the flames are still burning under the skin, he says. Examinations of the cir circuitrized tissue? Man, there's going to be so many big words that I can't pronounce. Show no trace of inflammation, infection, or swelling. Scars are clean. Could it be a case of persisting nerve damage? The patient will never ceases to blame himself for his disfiguration. Could it be a case of guilt of the survivor? Phantom pain manifesting as punishment for not dying with his comrades. Ooh, ouch. I These are request items. Okay, maybe we can... Ah, I was just thinking, maybe we can learn more about the people. And then their blood will taste better. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. I can't wait to eat more people. Can I open this door? I cannot. So we want to head to the morgue, but I want to have a good explore around. Place looks pretty tattered and broken. Man, London is in bad times right now. 
bad freaking times. We did go upstairs. Was there anything else up here? Or was it just... Just that locked door? Yeah. Second floor. Ooh, there is a second floor. But the door is closed. Perhaps we must do something to unlock it at a future date. And who is this? That's Swansea's office. Fair enough. That one's locked. No sign of anything else shiny or interesting around here. I feel like we did already scout this area about. That's just going to be closed to the second floor again. Yeah, okay. Shall we go and see if what is inside of Dr. Swansea's office? I feel like that was actually open to us. Let's have a little look-see. Yep. Not now. I'm busy. Okay, whatever you want to do in your office, man. That's, that's, that's your call. Don't mind us. Okay, so not a huge amount of place to explore. Ooh, ooh. Now, see, this is a storeroom. This is a freaking storeroom if I've ever seen one. Is this locked as well? No. Another small bottle. I want to find some water. We have to find some water to save the plant. That's something I really want to do. Because I feel like it's a beautiful gesture in a game surrounded by death and destruction and plague and sadness to save a little plant. Okay, so we go outside of that door. That's all well and interesting. Anywhere else I can go. Prevent disease. Careless, spitting, sneezing, coughing, spread influenza. Do not cough in public. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more sad people. Downstairs floor is a little bit better. Okay, yeah. Those are the other guys we want to talk to some more. I'm more looking for loot and interactable peoples. Hello, you look upright and able. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wow, there's always so much to listen to. Okay, I'm going to have a chat through here and see if I find anything interesting. Tell me about yourself. Oh, okay, there is some stuff here that we're going to need some hints for, but most of that was not Goodbye too interesting. Now, I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. Seems like everybody is trying to keep their family alive and happy. Oh, baby, we emptied that entire cupboard and only found four glass vials. There was loads of stuff in there. Uh, hello, what's this? Unfinished letter? My dear children, sorry I did not write to you before, but it hurts like hell to just to write these few words on bloody paper. Don't worry, Daddy will go out of the hospital as soon as the doctor fixes his arm. In the meantime, you if you need something, go see Mr. Chadwick at the construction site. Tell him you're Harley Felix children. Do you remember Robert Chadwick, the big guy with the mustache who helped me repair the doors last spring? Okay, yep, there are... Blah, 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 when the doctor's to fix my arm. Ha ha ha, that was one of his hints, and now we can unlock more conversation with him? Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Stay there. I want to talk to you. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? So it was personal questions. Aha, you seem worried about you your family. You seem worried about the safety of your family. And it's obviously the reason why your wound troubles you so much. I cannot give up on my children now. They both need me living. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. Yikes. Yikes. I can see what is happening Goodbye here. For the, now, the more hints I'll that we unlock, later. the more of a sad, terrible lifetime that we realize that our potential victims will have. And it will be a lot more heart-wrenchingly difficult to take their lives. But fear not. For they will not escape my wrath anyway. We will kill them all anyway, and we will relish in the evil times that we are producing here. <laughs> Ooh, trash can! Shiny! I like shiny things. A screw and a lead stick. I feel like this is useful. Okay, so that seems to be the majority of the hospital having a little check around in. Let's continue our rounds. Get it? Rounds around the hospital. I like it. I like it. A little play on words there. A little medical pun. If, uh... If you can call it such a thing. Ooh, big shiny chest. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. No, talk right. to the... <laughs> it's locked. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. 
Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Ooh, trading things. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to ask all the other random stuff and then we'll uh, bring you guys back when the interesting stuff is here. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. So that's why we were in a mass grave. Is that we had died and they closed the morgues and they made the mass graves to dump all of the bodies in. Aha! Uh -huh, a little bit of information for us. Very useful. Those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. I like this guy. This guy's cool. A pawnbroker. I expect you get all types of people here. Okay, that's around about all of that. Let's see what Please the trading show does. Me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Okay, we buy from Rakesh. Codeine. Opium. Okay, so far the only thing he has is drugs. And enigmatic formula. This formula written on a piece of paper seems complex and needs to be analyzed. Ooh, 70 pieces. Yes, let's get that. Because then we can learn things and we'll be able to make more stuff. And then that's our inventory to trade with him. Well, I spent some money. More bodies will arrive and then sadly depart. I'm managing a train terminal. I like that guy. I really do. He's got a nice attitude. I'm going to feel very sad when I eat his face. It's going to be a real shame. Okay, another your city needs to. Needs you even. Is this the door to the main morgue? It's locked. No, okay, it's not the door to the main morgue. Alright, let's continue our rounds and see where uh, the marker leads us. Oh, here's our buddy. How you doing, dude? Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. We shall indeed, as I do not want to be spending the entire recording talking to people. Although, my God, there's so many people to talk to. Okay, let's head out this door. It seems to be the closest to the area for the morgue. Let's say end of a long street. I cannot enter. No, I didn't feel like that was the door that I am after. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Is that a scowl there? I feel like it is. Oh yeah, you're definitely not a human person. Yeah, I don't talk to you. I hack you to bits. Oh my dear lord, hack him up. Still using this double-ended scythe. Uh, there's two of them there digging around. Let's get him. Let's go. Oh, he just flashed all red. Went all crazy. Let's take care of him. Oh, it's the stamina. Oh, the stamina, man. Oh, dear lord. My health is not doing great. Let's uh, use the whole use some blood thing to heal. There we go. feel like I should probably start locking on a bit more, don't you think? There we are. There we are. Again, sorry, guys. I'm starting to get a little bit more of a feel for the controls. Hello. A photography of a smiling and loving couple with a few red written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Aww. A new citizen investigation is available. Okay. Citizen investigations are displayed here, categorized by districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with X and then access your map to locate the area to explore. Ooh. 
Okay, looks like we're already tracking it. That's quite interesting. Ooh, so we get a little extra kind of quest thing going on. That's awesome. Alright, let's see if we can continue our way and find the morgue first, though. Definitely not a place. nice place around here. Ah, oh, there we are. Here's the door. Ah, the old morgue. Let's see what we have to find around here. There's a couple of shiny things around, and there's also a lot of quest markers. More glass vials, very good. Okay, nothing else around quite yet. Well, isn't this just five shades of creepy? That's light. Somebody's home. Yikes. Oh, the music and such gives chills. It looks like everything that I want to interact with is either above or below me. Finding lots and lots of glass vials. I'm not entirely sure what I need those for. I feel like they're what we need to uh, create healing things for us. Open up this door. Hello? Anybody home? Although this place has been locked up, it does not quite seem abandoned to my eye. Yes. Candles burning. Hmm, something feels amiss here. Let us investigate further. Why, hello. Can I sneak up on you? Oh, wait, we haven't tried this new skill thing that we had, actually, have we? We got that blood spear. I want to try that out. How do we use it? It looks like it's just on right trigger. Okay, so if I lock on to you... Oh, that's the wrong button to lock on, and then right trigger. Ooh! That was nice. Do it again! Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. That's the very nice. faster than influenza. Watery, sturdy blood sample. Okay, what do I get from you? A cigarette case. Fair enough, why wouldn't we? There's another shiny body over here. Yikes. Shotgun shells and some bullets. Very good, very good. I feel like I should change my weaponry, actually, and bring back uh, the... Oh, wait, we got that new sword thing I want to play with, too. <gasps> I forgot about that. Let's put that guy on. And for the offhand, let's go for... Wait, what is that? A Barker. Nicknamed Barker because of the noise produced when firing in the shape of the large muzzle. Okay, not very accurate. Okay, that's super interesting. Let's try that out. Oh, baby. I want to try out that. That sounds like a great idea. But mostly, I want to see the sword. Let's have a look at it. No, no, take it back out. I want to see it. It's just a black spiky sword. I like it. Very beautiful. Let's hack some people up with it. There's a thing here. Queening and glass vials. Okay. Ah, yes, I remember. We are looking for ingredients to be able to use to create antibiotics. Bottles of alcohol. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. That's exactly where you want to go in an old, abandoned, quarantined morgue, is the basement. I just took my weapon out. Oh, hello! Yeah! Ooh! He's got a... Larry thing going on. Yikes! Ouch! He can do the shadow dash thingy. He had some queening on him. Okay, health does regenerate all the way back up to that orange marker, so we just got to breathe for a moment. Looks like the next place we want to go is in the basement downstairs, but let us explore a little further through this creepy, terrifying place. Hello, here's the thing. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But 
They do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Ooh, look at us being the super clever science man. I could do with some more blood. That's definitely going to be a thing. I know we have to go down, but let's go and head up first. Just to see if there's anywhere else that I can get into. It appears just like the other place. Oh, hello. Watery rich blood sample. Plus two. Ooh. So the blue things we can investigate and learn more things of, which is awesome. Let us continue our way downstairs and enter the basement of the morgue. Oh my Jesus. That scared the crap out of me. So some of these scowls are actually pretty powerful. The door has been unlocked. Let's just resume our way down here. Why, hello, all nastiness. How the devil do you all do? One went over that way. My health is not looking These great, and I don't have much blood. Feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. So they feast on flesh. Oh, this sword is awesome. This sword is freaking great because it's really quick. I like it. I feel like I want to change back to the stake though so that I can actually stun some of these people uh, and get my hands on a little bit more blood. I imagine we don't get much from a scowl. But let's equip our stake. So we can stab some people with it. Which will stun them and then I can bite them. Because I like to bite. Nom 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 nom. Hey dude, how's it going? Oh, he didn't get stunned. There we go. Give me a... Yeah, I don't get much. Oh, my dear lord. Another bite for me. There we are. Fill that blood bar back up for me. That's much nicer. I do like this little sword. It's really quite nice. Very effective. Alright, what have we got over here? I saw something shining. More shillings. Only three. We did spend a lot on that recipe. I hope it's something worthwhile. Nothing else? No. Can't open the crate. Okay. Through the door it is then. Ooh. Oh, it was an autopsy. Officer Pembroke, have medical examiner, report of investigation. Right, male 39, just no fishman, type of death natural. Probable cause of death, fast progressing pneumonia by virus induced pulmonary consolidation, Spanish influenza. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Admittedly, yeah. He looks very blood torn. Let's see here. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't see this one. Open chest. Oh wait, opened. I thought it said open chest. Oh my good lord. Let's have a look Multiple here. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Okay, so those are definitely from there. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Very likely, but why did they open his chest? The chest was originally opened to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Ooh. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. That would have been to drain the fluid from the pneumonia. Chest hemorrhaging. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Yikes. Oh, yikes. That's super bad. Oh my god. It's locked. Ah, everything's locked. Oh, oh, hello. 
Use Litson knife. Blood absorb. You just acquire a new type of offhand weapon. Press it and uh, equip it and press Y to directly absorb blood. Really? That's interesting. We won't have to bite people so often. We definitely want to give that a play with too. Let's try it out. I'm sure there'll be somebody we can try it out on. Use Litson knife. That's curious. More shiny. More glass vials. There are a lot of glass vials hanging around in this place. Okay, a couple more doors that we can open here. Okay, man, this place is so creepy. Whoa. Hey there. I have a new weapon, let me try it. Wow. That claw thing I have is super strong. Queening Ferris Tartate. Very nice, very nice. Opening more doors. Slaughtering more scowls. Oh, it's the same door. It just it just closed on me. Ah, okay. The doors automatically close behind me, making me think I haven't been in the room. When actually, I have been in the room. Let's just double check we haven't missed anything a little way down here. I feel like we haven't. No, we've been all through there. Okay, excellent. Moving onwards. Let us push through this door and see where it leads us. This doesn't look good. Whoa. John Doe. Hi, John Doe. Woo! Oh, he leaves like a shadow of himself behind. Ow. Oh, the stamina. Whoa, the stamina. Easy on the stamina consumption there, buddy. I don't like how he leads a shadow of himself to attack us. I don't like that at all. Let's have a bit of blood to heal ourselves up with a little bit here. Come here, you. Hack him to bits. Got him. Tiny common hand apart and lead stick. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. <laughs> yes, it is. Look at that guy. Look at the mess we made of him on the floor. <laughs> Man, the fights are tough. We're going to have to rest to get our... Uh... Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Yeah, we're going to have to rest to get our maximum health back up really quite badly. Does the blood thing heal us from that? It does increase it. Excellent. Excellent. Anything else down and around here that we can use? No? Let's do a little jumpy. Hot jumping action. I love that so much. I haven't got to do that in a while. More shiny things. Watery rich blood sample. Uh, enigmatic formula. I hope that's not the one that I just freaking bought. There's a crafting table there that we could use to check this stuff out. But I feel like we've actually got the most of it taken care of. Let's head back to the hospital. We'll uh, do the investigational things and uncovering the stuff that we have discovered here when we return to our room. We have got a good amount of XP again, which is awesome, because I'd like to get some more skills. Oh, hello. And there's a lot of these guys hanging around here, actually.
Oh, hello. A watch. Okay. Yet another thing that I may be able to examine. I believe so. Or it could be a craftable. I'm not entirely sure yet. But we will discover. Let us continue on our adventure. Ah, oh, very nice. It's actually brought us right outside of the Pembroke Hospital. That's very good to know, as this is where we were needing to return to. So, let's get our way back upstairs to our room where we have to treat... Uh, where we have to uh, craft the treatment for fatigue is our night shift objective right there. We will also have a slight word with that doctor about his uh, terrible medical practices in the next episode. Another huge loading spike there, but here we are. Alright, let's see what we have uncovered this evening. So we do have a few things. We have enough components to craft a medicine treatment for fatigue. Let's see here. Treatment for anemia. Treatment for sepsis. Treatment for fatigue. Use it to cure a sick citizen during a dialogue. Very good. So we get one of those. Enigmatic form is form is written on a piece of paper. Seems complex. Analyze it. Ooh, hello. Treatment for a cold. Treatment for pneumonia. And treatment for bronchitis. Oh, I see. Conditions of the heart, condition of the lungs. Very good. What is this? And another thing for us. Light blood serum. Regener regenerate 60 blood points. Very good for us. Very good. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. Let's go and take care of that one as well. So it is downstairs and to our right. Somebody must be fatigued. We're going to heal somebody. Healing the sick. No, no, I'm not going to be looking for citizens right now. Here we are, Dorothy. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Yeah, really? Because I walked past him like three times. He was like, not right now. Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak with the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. Ah, so we can heal people and make them feel better. And then eat them. That sounds like a great idea. Hi, the buddy. I feel like you're not feeling so well. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Press right bump to check the medical status of the citizen. Healing as it also increases blood quality. Okay. Uh, medical checkup. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Okay, give medicine. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Treatment for fatigue, minus one. Right trig gives more details. There's his blood quality. He's recovering. Very good. Alright, excellent. So we can ask him a load of questions, I but I'm not going to do that right now. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Don't waste your time with me. Okay, our actual next mission objective here, Rat in the Hospital, is to talk to Mr. Swansea here. But we will leave that one for the next episode. Let's head our way back to our bed. We've got a good one and a half thousand points. Blood Temptation. Remember, Citizen's Blood will provide a massive XP boost. Look for Citizens of your Mesmer either level or below and choose wisely. Uh, my wise choice is all of them. Absolutely all of them. 
So I feel like we might go on a little bit of a feeding frenzy in next episode as well. But for the time being, as I said, let us return to our room, to our office. Rest and evolve our skills once more. Ah, to sleep. Perchance to dream. Do vampires dream? I have no idea. Ah, very nice. So, 1515 XP. Looks beautiful. Let's try out this thing, Shadow Mist. Place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. That sounds fun. Ooh, that sounds very fun. Let's get it. Bam! A new attack for us. That one we're going to have to play with as well. Now we still have 500. We might be able to do something else here. Uh, a condition, admittedly, our stamina is quite of an issue, but the bite could also be good. Hard damage, extra thing. More blood capacity. That sounds like a good idea, actually, too. Let's do that. Excellent. So now we have just a little bit more blood to us as well. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and confirm it, and we'll call it here. Okay, here we are. We have discovered a Mr. Mortimer Goswick, who is a level 2 for us to be able to mesmerize him. We know Hardy Fiddick. We know this Thomas Elwood, but we haven't actually found him yet. And uh, here's the other doctor, Tippett, who was terrible at his surgery and has done horrible things. And this guy, Rakesh, who I really like. He's awesome. I enjoy his company very much. Alright, cool. We're gonna go ahead and call it here there, guys. Beautiful. Thanks very much for coming to join me again there, guys. Just a little bit of a mellow one as we explored the deep, dark, dank morgue and explored around the hospital and discovered some more things. We have to play with some more crafting and we have to uh, go and get some more blood. I really want to go on a bit of a feeding frenzy next episode. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section down below. But till next time there, guys, thanks very much for coming to join me. If you have enjoyed it, do me a massive favor. Hit the like button for me. And if you're looking forward to more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button too so you won't miss out on any episodes coming to the channel in the next few days our eyes are looking very very red and bloodshot that's really quite freaky and until next time guys as per always enjoy take it easy all the best and i can't wait to see you all again soon